After six rounds of competition, the intensity of the Digicel Cup continues to produce mixed results on the weekend. At the Sir Denny Lehi Oval, 10th place Goroka Lahanis put a second half powerhouse performance to shoot down the more fancied Port Mosby Vipers 46 22 at full time. In Minge, home team JPG Wagitumbe was able to avenge last week's loss with a massive upset win over defending premiers Lace Next Tigers. 16 points to 6. In the battle of the two PRK-sponsored teams at the Santos National Football Stadium in Port Mosby, Mandy Murooks, with so much experience, showed a lot more urgency and hunger in their attack and defense to shut down any potential fight back from PRK Galfiso in the last quarter of the second half and eventually sealed the deal 30-20 at full time. It was a tough clash with both teams trading try for try. Iso squandered a number of scoring chances in the last 10 minutes. Moruk's tries came from Cassie Dixon, Ishmael Palkawa, Clint Lama, Julius Jakopa and Charlie Simon. Simon also picked up the Man of the Match award. Try scorers for Iso were Tina Jack Tony, Jerry Teme, a double, and Eliakim Lukara. This is Iso's second loss at the NFS. It's a game of two halves. Uh, we were on top the you know, first half and then second half we just, we just didn't come up with the right attitude here. Yeah. Basically the momentum shifted when we did our first uh, era, uh, Jerry dropping ball and then the momentum uh, shifted Kolo Muruk. So credit to them, uh, you know, they came up with the uh, uh, points this afternoon. You need experience up front. That's, um, personally, I, I, I know that's, that's where the game's won and lost. So if you have the middle forwards working right for you, then basically you just got to make sure things work when the ball gets to the backs and all that stuff. Salome Vincent, TV1 Sports. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.